I am Captain Mike Hogan. I'm down here in Charleston, South Carolina, fishing with Captain Tucker Blight. Uh, we're here in Hamlin Sound. We're fishing for redfish. The two hoagies that we'll be using today are the 6-inch skinny hoagie and our 7-inch original hoagie. Oyster beds in uh, Hamlin Flats. Um, what you like to do is look for you know, the toes, you know, where the uh, oyster beds sort of graduate down into the water column. That's often uh, a key point for the redfish to hang. Uh, but anywhere in this general area, you're going to see some redfish cruising. So you want to lead the fish past the bait about a foot and a half, uh, you know, in front of the bait. Lead the bait into the fish. Uh, oyster bed there. Get pointed towards the water. Short little twitches, twitch, twitch, reel, reel. And as I reel and twitch, that bait's going to come up to the surface, and then it's going to have a very natural, uh, a natural drop. So I'm just twitch, reel, twitch, reel. All right, we're working that grass bank there, throwing the seven-inch bone-colored hook. Uh, we got a nice little puppy drum here. Energetic puppy drum. Trying not to uh, take the boat. The puppy drum here, you'll notice that uh, we had no problem with the hook set with this. Uh, 7 0 uh, offset worm hook. We have the 7 inch original hokey. It's a little bit larger than what you would normally associate with a, you know, an inshore redfish bait, but you know, I like it uh, primarily because it's visible. We have real dirty water. This is a larger profile bait. They're eating mullet and juvenile menhaden, so you know, in reality, the bait's you know, not too big, uh, similar size to what they're eating. Now to rig the seven inch Hoagie original, um, I'm gonna use the owner 7-0 offset worm hook. And to start, I'm gonna put the hook right in the center of the bait and bring the point out into the hook slot. I'm gonna slide the hook all the way down into the bait until you get to this 90 degree turn in the hook. I'm gonna rotate the bait so the hook point is facing up towards the flat portion of the bait, um, the top of the bait. I'm gonna line it up so the hook when it's inside the bait, it's going to lay nice and straight. And bend the bait just to give myself a little access. Here I go. Now the final step here is to bury the hook point in the back of the bait so that it's weed proof or snag proof. And there you go. As you can see, it only takes about 30 seconds. Now this guy was grubbing up on the... Uh, Oyster bed there. I cast a little uh, six inch skinny hokey on the weighted offset, say weighted twist lock owner hook. Nice little puppy drum. He's hooked in the corner of the mouth. You can see this guy had us in the mud. He's got a, a muddy nose and um, you know, they had no problem taking that six inch skinny hoagie and you know they often come in on the corner of the mouth here and uh, this is an owner uh, 4-0 weighted twist lock hook see they have a nice hook set fish have very tough mouths now oh, nice you can hear them grunting there beautiful fish Now the second bait we'll be using today is the six inch skinny hoagie. Um, I'm using a weighted swim bait hook here. It's really quite easy to rig. I'm just gonna insert this bait keeper, very similar to a cork screw, and screw it into the, uh, the hook. And uh, take a minute to line the bait up. Insert that hook. 